everybody! Welcome back to another awesome day, another awesome vlog. So today we are going to be making a very simple, easy little card that is for back to school time. It's almost time for kids to start going back to school and I thought it would be nice to show you a simple card that you could help make with your child to take to his or her teacher on their first day of school. So I found this really awesome paper with apples on it and I found it in a pack. It is K and Company, my favorite. I got this at Michael's Craft Store. Um, like all of their paper or all that I've ever found, it's two-sided. But there are several different pieces of paper in this pack that are school related, that have apples, that have really cute little things on them that can be used for back to school. So I thought it would be fun to create a card that is simple yet really, really cute that you can make with your kids for their teacher for the first day of school. So let's get started. So for this card, I'm going to use a brown craft paper. It's still a card stock and it actually comes in the packs just like I purchased for my white and ivory cards. And it just comes in an eight and a half by 11 pack that I have cut in half. And now I have taken my card base and folded it in half. I have my little strip of really cute green apples that I'm going to glue on towards the left side of the card, just leaving a slight border of the brown card base showing off to the left. I know that I have told you this before, but in case you haven't seen that video, I love Elmer's glue. I like the purple disappearing glue, but I'm reminding you because since it's back to school time, soon these glue sticks are going to be really inexpensive. You're going to be able to find them at Walmart, Target, all over the place for next to nothing, especially after back to school is over. Sometimes right before back to school, they put them in bins. Um, you can get a four pack sometimes for only a dollar or two. And um, after back to school time, most of that stuff goes on clearance. So just keep your eye open for it. It's usually a really good time of year to get a good price on glue sticks. Um, there's all different types of glue sticks out there. This one just happens to be my favorite, but I know there are a lot of glue sticks that other people use as well. So the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna glue down uh, this little square. It has really cute pink hearts all over it. And then in the center of that, I'm going to glue down this really cute paper that I cut out. It's just a square as well with apples and flowers and hearts. And that is just gonna be glued right in the middle of my heart paper. I'll be sure to leave the dimensions of all of my paper down below in the description. So if you want to follow along and make this card with me, just look at the description down below for all of the dimensions of the pieces and you can make the card along with me. So I've glued that right in the middle just like that. Very simple, very easy. Um, something that either you can do to make for a teacher or your child can do if you cut the pieces. It's really, really easy. And of course, using a glue stick, a child can do that as well. So for this card, I used a red center and for the card I'm making as my sample, I'm gonna use a light pink um, heart in the middle. And that's just to show you a little bit of difference between um, one card to the next. You can, um, if you don't have the exact paper that I have or the exact shapes or colors, you can always interchange something else into the middle. I am going to use a scalloped heart and then a solid heart that goes in the middle. I cut these using my Cricut machine. So if you do not know how to use your Cricut to cut different shapes, different sizes straight off the internet, make sure to keep watching my videos because soon I'm gonna be doing a video, I'm actually probably gonna be doing several videos, teaching you how to use your Cricut, different ways you can use it, um, attaching it to the internet so that you can print shapes and sizes of things that you find online at no cost. So keep checking back if that's something that you're interested in. The next thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to glue my solid colored heart, the lighter colored heart onto the brown. And this brown is used from the same pack that I made 
the base of the card. It's a brown craft colored paper. And I've just glued that on. The next thing I'm gonna use are pearls. These are um, strings of pearls, double row, that have sticky on the back that you can just cut them apart. I have cut three little pearls off in a row that I am just going to remove the backing. They already are sticky and I'm just going to glue them down to the right hand bottom edge of my heart, just like that. All right, so now I'm going to use my foam dots. I'm going to cut a piece off to attach to the back of this heart to make it a little bit 3D dimensional so that it pops out of the card a little bit, just like that. So that is a way to make a quick and easy card for back to school. Here are two different examples of how you can make them. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please smash the thumbs up button. If you missed my last video, you can watch it over here. If you're new to the channel and haven't subscribed, make sure to click this button over here to subscribe. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to check the description below to get the dimensions of all of the pieces that I have used in this card. Thanks again for watching. I hope you guys are having an awesome day and I'll see you next time. Bye. I'm a crafty dog.